Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Solar Tax Credit presented to you by Straight Up Solar. They call me Professor Kai, the solar guy. So here we go. Now I'm a solar guy, I'm not a tax guy. So let me preface this discussion with the disclaimer that I'm not a tax professional. What I'm doing here is going to, uh, what I'm going to do here is to run you through a few examples so that you can see how the tax credit may impact somebody who purchases a solar array. The tax credit is a one-for-one non-refundable tax credit against liability. One-for-one means it's a dollar-for-dollar reduction. Non-refundable means you must have tax liability to take advantage of. Okay, so one-for-one non-refundable tax credit against liability. So let's take a look at what happens here. Let's assume somebody's bought a a couple. They bought this $20,000 solar array. And with this 26% tax credit, that means that they've got $5,200 worth of tax credit to utilize. But can they? Well, let's look at their financials. <clears throat> Excuse me. They have taxable income of $75,000. Uh, this is taxable income. This is after their uh, mortgage deduction and their child credit deduction and all of that good stuff. Uncle Sam says, okay, you are going to pay me taxes on $75,000. And again, for easy math, let's just assume that their tax bracket is 20%. So they owe Uncle Sam $15,000. But wait, they bought a solar array and it gives them a $5,200 tax credit. So their taxes now, they get to subtract $5,200 from their tax bill, which leaves them with a $9,800 new tax bill. But what does this mean to them in terms of, you know, their, their pocketbook? Well, it all depends on how they set themselves up for their withholding. Let's assume that Jack and Jill here decided that what they wanted to do was to be, was to owe nothing to the federal government at the end of the tax year and also get nothing back. So they wanted to be zeroed out at the end of the uh, tax year. So they talked to their employers and said, listen, withhold from my check an amount from our checks, an amount such that at the end of the year, you would have with, withheld 15000 So we don't owe the government anything. They don't owe us anything. Everybody's happy. So they do. And that's what they do throughout 2020. And they're running their taxes in April of 2021. And they say, hey, we don't have to pay the government anything. They don't owe us anything. But, but wait a minute, Jane says, what about that solar array we bought and this $5,200 tax credit? And Jack says, yeah, that's right. You know, we do have this tax credit. So we get to take 5,200 off of our 15,000 bill. So we actually only owe 9,800. But we've already paid in. We've already had withheld $15,000. So Uncle Sam sends them a check for $5,200 because they've overpaid their taxes because of this tax credit. Now, another couple has a different perspective towards um, taxes. And they say, you know what? I want my full check from my employer. I'm going to save the 15,000 on my own. I'm going to put enough money in the the bank every month so that at the end of the year, I've saved $15,000 and I can write a check to Uncle Sam. And again, they buy the same $20,000 system with a $5,200 credit. And when they're doing their taxes, they say, wait a minute, we don't have to write a check for 15,000 because we've got this credit of 5,002. So the check we have to write is 9,800 We've got 5,200 sitting in the back that we can go to buy with, we can buy the kid the used car, whatever. But the money is there for you to use as you will. So this is the advantage of the solar tax credit of 26%. It goes directly to your uh, the tax that you owe the federal government. Now, I hear you thinking, what if I don't have $15,000 of uh, tax liability? What if my tax due is closer to, let's say, five, what is that, five? is closer to $3,200. And I now have a $5,200 tax credit, which leaves me negative 2,000. Well, the way that works is, in this year, 2020, your taxes would, would now be zero. So if you had had this money withheld, as Jack and Jill had done, you'd get a $3,200 check back. If you had 3,200 in the bank, you get to keep it all because you've got more tax credit than your liability. And here's the beautiful thing. This $2,000, it carries over to 2021. So if you have a similar tax situation in 2021, where your tax due is 3,200, you get to take 2,000 off that bottom line 
which means that your tax due in 2021 is gonna be $1,200. So the remaining 2,000 you get to do with as you, as you please. So strike while the iron is hot. This is a good time to go solar. It's good for the environment, which we all hopefully know. And there's an opportunity to make it very good for your pocketbook as well. So call us, Straight Up Solar. Look us up online, straightupsolar.com. We'd be more than happy to start you on your solar journey and also hopefully help make your wallet a little fatter. Thanks for listening. See you next time.